Hello and welcome to the Global Electronics Report. It's Friday, January 12th, 2018, and my name is David Burford. Today's program is sponsored by Comet Group. The Wall Street Journal has reported that Qualcomm Inc. is set to get conditional antitrust approval from the European Union for its acquisition of NXP Semiconductors NV worth $39 billion. The deal could happen as soon as next week, according to those familiar with the matter. Qualcomm and NXP's deal had been probed in depth by the EU due to concerns that it could lead to higher prices, less choice and the reduction of innovation in the semiconductor sector. ZF Global Electronics is planning to expand its manufacturing capabilities in Eastern Europe. The planned new facility in Czestochowa, Poland, with a floor space of 10,000 square meters, will produce safety products such as advanced camera generations for driver assist systems. The new facility is due to be operational by the end of 2019 and will employ more than 300 people once running at capacity. Recently, they also expanded their electronics engineering group by opening a new technical center in Wurz, Poland. CES has been underway this week in Las Vegas, bringing a wide range of gadgets and tech in the consumer sector, from wearables and IoT applications to drones to electric vehicles. One highlight was an impressive display of more than 200 drones lighting up the night sky above Las Vegas, the stunt arranged by Intel. The BBC reported that Panasonic showed a prototype for a driverless car at the show, where the windows double as a touchscreen display, allowing passengers to shop whilst they travel, and pop-up screens for video calling on the go. The car will likely, however, not be seen on our roads until 2030. Reuters reported from the show that gaming company NVIDIA is partnering with automotive companies to create sensors, software and hardware for self-driving cars. Join me after a quick break for more electronic stories. At the Comet Group, we live by a pioneering spirit, great ingenuity and an enduring passion for solutions that lead the way. Stemtech has announced that it has acquired Photo Stencil. The combination is set to offer technical expertise, exceptional quality, and punctual delivery for the SMT and semiconductor printing markets. McDermott Enthone Electronics Solutions and its partner Hitachi Chemicals have begun production of their new dry film slitting facilities in Wantage, UK. The new facility is an exact copy of the former, allows McDermott to maintain service to dry film customers whilst having a centralised facility for manufacturing chemicals. Managing Director of Ventec Group, Thomas Michaels, has been elected to the Board of Directors of EIPC, effective immediately. His appointment to the board increases the number of members to 15. As a group, they continue to reflect the role of the Institute throughout Europe's electronics packaging and interconnection industries value chain. That's it for this week. Thank you to our sponsors, Comet Group, technology with passion. Next week's show will be brought to you from the Internetcon show in Tokyo. So check back then for more top stories from around the electronics world.